Hey everyone, it's Alan over at Cobblers Plus and thank you for joining us in today's daily video. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about something that majority of you know about, but majority of you also don't use. Better start using them, please. We're talking about shoehorns in Russian, shoe spoon. Actually, that's what it is in Russian, just pronunciation is loshka. Just wanted to throw that out there, kind of funny, right? But uh, kind of looks like a spoon, right? But anyways, um, Shoehorns. I know almost all of you know about them. I know most of you say I have one, I have two, but in reality, a lot of you actually don't use them. Men and women alike, it doesn't matter what kind of shoes you're wearing. It seems like nobody's wanting to use them just because it's over there on the shelf. I don't want to walk over and grab it or something, or yeah, I'm in too much of a rush to use that. You better start using them because you're causing damage to your shoes a number of ways. One way, obviously, and I get this kind of question sometimes to have people repair their shoes are, I've got a pair of Stacy Adams here, which me, no comment, in other words, but you can see right here, there's a little bit of a tear there. This whole back area is collapsing and everything. And typically shoes have what's called a heel counter in the back here. It helps keep that shape, that, you know, kind of harder air, like backing right here to kind of reinforce everything. But when you're not using shoe horns, you force your foot in and you end up pressing on that and kind of collapsing it, causing damage, ripping it. You're damaging the liner on the inside here, as you can tell, you know, you just cause way too much problems with that. And that's slip-ons and you know lace-ups are the same story or if you're using velcro or buck buckle methods especially if you got a double monk strap alan edmund or something i see guys do that all the time they just shove their foot in there mm. hey come on shoe horns do it shoe spoons whatever you want to call it use it ladies same thing you know, a pump, slip-on, doesn't seem like much, but I know a lot of you ladies actually have a habit of sticking your finger down there. I know your fingers are typically a little bit skinnier than mine, maybe not always, but you try to stick your pinky in there and force your foot in there. Well, you'll get your foot in there, but if it's a little tight up here, which I know a lot of ladies' shoes are a little tighter in this area, it can be stretched out, but that's a whole nother subject. We'll talk about that later. Got a pair of uh, Christian Louboutins here, and they just came in today, but they've got a tear here the lady tried doing it herself doing some repair work and what happens is when you're forcing your foot down in there again it's at an angle and when you're forcing your foot in there especially with a patent leather like this it's just a matter of time before it rips these don't exactly have all that much wear on them you know they still got plenty of life on the sole let alone obviously she wore out the red we're going to be fixing that these are again just came in today so they're going to be worked on um but ladies also, please use your shoehorns. It's a must. Uh, gentlemen, also, use your shoehorns. It's gonna save you a ton overall on cost. It's gonna save your favorite pair of shoes, your favorite, you know, slip on, whatever it may be. Again, lace up, it doesn't matter what it is. Put in that extra little bit of time of having the laces undone and using a shoehorn. You could use a metal one like this. This one's from Four Seasons. It's kind of a generic one. Um, there's a lot of other brands that make the exact same shoehorn or they just label it with their logo. Um, there are long plastic ones like this here. This one also is from Four Seasons. There are metal ones. I use one of these at the house just because there are some days where my back is killing me and I just I can't bend over that far. And then there are new things hitting the market like these shoe slides right here. They're really cool designs. Let's see if I can get that. There we go. Ah, that reflection. But these shoe slides here, they're really nice. I mean, obviously you could tell they're tiny, but they fit in your pocket, they fit in your purse, your suitcase, wherever it may be. If you don't have a shoehorn on you, obviously if you're a traveler or something, you can't exactly take a metal shoehorn with you on carry-on because this can be potentially a deadly weapon so a lot of times i've actually heard of gentlemen having theirs tossed out uh ladies too but these they're plastic they're designed to just kind of sit under your foot like that right there you push down and then just slides on in it's a basically almost the same type of material as what a credit card would be so it fits in your wallet too just fine it's, it's a wallet shoehorn 
shoe spoon, if you want to call it in Russian. But uh, anyways, you know, definitely, definitely a well-worthy investment to have a number of them. Have a long, long one sitting there, maybe in your closet, another one by the front door for even guests to be a gentleman, be a courteous lady too. You know, if you have guests over, be like, hey, take care of your shoes. Here you go. Here's a shoehorn. Slip your shoes on before you go out that door. Be courteous. Be a true, you know, enthusiast basically of your footwear and show it spread it make sure you teach and educate others as well that's what we're trying to do on this channel have a little short one you know just uh, real quick maybe in your car too you might have to change out shoes going to the gym or something gym shoes same thing use a shoehorn because i see gym shoes all the time being destroyed so definitely sorry i'm trying to put this back in so excuse that but uh, you know and then for travel have a couple of these throw in your you know your backpack your purse your suitcase your luggage and your pocket wherever it may be have a number of them you're gonna save your footwear but uh anyways i hope you enjoyed the video thank you for watching give me a thumbs up if you did enjoy it questions or comments leave them down below don't forget to hit that subscribe button and we'll see you all tomorrow